Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Well, should I say early morning studio time? It is 4.30 a.m. and I'm having another one of those sleepless nights. So here I am and I figure I might as well just put together our Merry Monday video. So it's Merry Monday again, which means a little Christmas and a whole lot of crafting. So we're gonna do Christmas like we've been doing and the same way I've been doing. I'm gonna do Christmas plus some others. So I usually try to do botanical Christmas, uh, shabby chic, vintage, you know, all of it. But we'll start with the Christmas and then we'll go from there. And I am also doing Roxy's Weekly Challenge number three, which I know a lot of people decided to, to do on their video channels, but I was doing it first, so. <laughs> Anyway, so here I am, um, and we're going to make tall envelopes today. Um, I'm going to say envelope pockets, but they're made from one sheet of paper. And so I brought along papers for us to work with. I have a whole bunch of papers uh, by Rachel at Roxy's Creation that I'm going to be using um, from one of her kits, their background kits. And so I have all these papers in like a bunch of different colors. I think they're like three or four different kits. Um, and then I also have a lot of her um, Florentine papers that um, I knew I had a ton, you guys, and I knew I had blue. Remember I said, oh my gosh, I think I'm crazy. I can't find it. I know I have it. Well, I'm not kidding you. I had to dig under my counter, my big cutting counter, the one in the middle of my room. And I, I looked everywhere for my papers and I thought, oh no, somebody stole them. No, no one stole them. Of course not. But um, I found them buried in the bottom of my, um, underneath my work table. I have a gap between the two shelves and the, the tabletop that I store stuff in. And in the back were all of my vintage papers um, and my Florentine papers. So here they are. So I'm gonna work with some of those today. And we're going to work with some music paper and some vintage documents, whatever you have. You could use whatever you want. But to actually make the envelopes that look like this, um, I used, now Rachel used a six by nine paper. And so I found some uh, medium weight drawing paper. This is at Target and it's sort of creamy. Uh, I don't know if you could tell on there. But this is white paper, so see the difference? So I thought, ooh, and it has a yummy feel when you make an envelope out of it. It's not a real big envelope. It comes out about the size of what I make a tag out of, which is about six when you're done uh, tall by about three, I think. Let me, let, me, let me take a look. Let's see. I'll give you a dimensions here. Not quite three. It's two and three quarters by six and a half. So I'm trying to be kind of quiet here. I don't want to wake up my hubby. Um, and then I also tried it in a bigger size and I just used a full sheet of coffee dyed paper. A lot of people are doing theirs with either digital papers or something else, uh, but I decided to leave mine plain so I could decorate them up. And then I have some um, avocado dyed paper and I have some children's drawing paper. I don't know if we'll get that far, but I got a bunch of different papers I thought we could play with. I'm gonna show you how to make these. And then I thought, well, we'll just get busy, make a few, and then we'll actually decorate them, okay? So I see it's 4.30, so I know what time I need to stop. Um, oh, and then there's just a plain white piece of drawing paper, too. This was a piece of drawing paper. So they're much bigger than the average paper. The drawing paper, which is too big to make these envelopes, we'll have to cut it down, is uh, um, 12 by, oh, it's 12 inches tall by, how wide is this? Um, 12 by 9, 9 by 12, 9 inches wide by 12. So we actually could probably go, um, gosh, I got glue or something running around my desk, or it could be lint from my sweater, maybe. Um, I have on my Fozzie Bear, <laughs> I call it my Fozzie Bear. Uh, Leslie calls hers Maud, but I think this this reminds me of Fozzie Bear, my, my heavy sweater, and another sweatshirt, and another shirt under that. So, because <laughs> it is only about 60 degrees in the house right now. I just turned on the um, the heater. It's probably about 28 degrees outside, so it's cold. We've only been getting into the low 40s. That's cold for California, so not used to that. But anyway, so let's make some envelopes. So what Rachel did was she just took her paper, kind of met in the middle, and it doesn't have to be dead in the middle. 
Oh, so before I get going, how are all of you guys? Are you good? Are you healthy? Are you safe? Everybody happy? Are you crafting? Hopefully you'll craft along with me and, and do some Merry Monday things. So you'll have some Christmas goodies by the time Christmas gets here. I'm very excited about that. Now I want to just, I want to make sure that it kind of goes over by just a little bit. I'm just doing it by eyeball. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I made it the same size as the other one. Dead on. Can you believe it? Must be the way my eye measures things. I don't know. It's strange. Then you want to fold up the bottom. You want to do about a half inch, I think. I assume that's about a half inch. Let's see if I'm right. You can do whatever you want. Um, yep, half inch on the nose. And then I want to fold it down. But I want it to be as the same height as the other one, so I'm going to cheat a little bit right about there because I really like that longer flap. I think it's cool. Now, um, you can decorate on whatever side you want. Oh, you guys, I got to share this with you. I got new storage containers. Aren't these cool? We got a brand new Ross in our town. And um, so I went and I, my, I went to, I got my, my daughter and I were out shopping for my husband. So while we were out, you know, I said, oh, I want to go to the new Rosses. I haven't been there yet. And I want to go to the new TJ Maxx. And so we got a bunch of storage containers. So see, I got this one and it's got all my tools. So instead of the bucket I had and the, bu and the clear little thingy I had, so I've reorganized my desk a little bit and I'm really liking it. So always, I'm always, always, always doing the storage container organizing thing. Always. I'm always looking for new ways to organize. I didn't leave. I'll be back in a minute. So at TJ Maxx, I got this set of buckets. Oh my gosh, three of them. And they were $9.99 for three, $15 elsewhere. But look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at the details on that. I love it. It's on clearance, you know, they only have one. And then at Ross, I got this pretty pink basket, which is for more uh, more laces on cards. So um, I just, anything pink, I couldn't resist. And my daughter talked me in to these guys. Are they not cute? Their twins are sewed together for Valentine's Day. Be my Valentine. I had to get them for my studio here. They're going to sit in my studio year round because to me, they don't just look like Valentine's. Aren't they adorable? So they're just one little set. I have to figure out where they're going to go. I think they're going to sit on my, um, my cutting table, keeping me company in here. So that's the gnomes, the gnome family. So I had to share those with you. That's my little shopping trip with my daughter. I think I probably got a bunch of other stuff, but I can't even remember right now. So anyway, let's get some scissors and let's get back to work here. All right. So we've done our folds. We folded, folded, folded. All right. So before we get going, we want to get rid of any excess paper. So I'm going to, at the bottom down here where my lines are, I'm just going to, I'm going to see if what you guys can see. Hold on. Okay. You can see that, I think. All right, nighttime's a little more tricky than my daytime. And I'm just gonna cut that out. And, you know, I cut that straight, but I really want it to have an angle. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna angle that a little bit. Hopefully you can see that all right. A little bit of glare at night, but it's not too bad, so. And then, oh, the heater's on, so I'm getting warm. Mm, I wonder if I'm gonna have to take this extra sweater off. Might have to get rid of Fozzie Bear here. And so we're cutting out all the little squares. We don't need any of those little squares. And we're going to keep everything on the back side. Okay. So we'll get rid of those. And then, oh man, I really cut that crooked. Oof. That was not a good thing. Try to keep it more straight if you can. Then I'm just going to take and I'm going to gently crease it a little bit and I'm going to get my corner rounder and I'm going to see if I need to use my big one or my little one. I think I have to use the big one. There we go. 
that did not do well there because probably because I didn't get it very in the corner. I cut that so crooked, but anyway, you get the idea, right? So, I'm try to pull these sleeves up a little bit. Um, also, the only thing here is I don't really want that so high because then we can't get anything in and out of the envelope. Now this is where I'm not always as successful at getting things straight, but I did okay. I've got a little V up here and then um, I'm gonna take my ink and I'm just gonna, my blender here. Boy, these, this looks terrible up here. I'm gonna do a little better job in the cutting, but you see, how easy it is. And once you get going, you get on a roll and it's 4.30 in the morning, so I'm not there yet. Give me a few minutes. I couldn't sleep, just could not sleep. I tried so hard and seemed like the more I tried to go to sleep, the worse it got. So I finally gave up and said, I'm getting up, honey. I'm going to go do a video. He's like, okay, honey, maybe when you get that out of your head, you can go to sleep. Sometimes when I haven't videoed for much, I haven't for a week. Um, and I'm prepping and prepping for videos because it takes a lot to prep for these videos. Finding things and coming up with ideas and what am I going to do. And even if the idea isn't my own, I still have to prep for it and run copies if I don't have what I need. And um, there's a lot of a lot of prep work. I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you guys kind of giving you guys a lowdown on it, what it's like. And um, so there's a lot that goes on before you do a video. Even if you sit down just to craft while you're cra already crafting. Of course, I wasn't already crafting. So this is specifically for Merry Monday. And I am doing a little, just a light amount. Okay, so we got that one. So I'm gonna make a pink one and I'm gonna use the whole paper. And we're gonna do this again, just like we did towards the middle. Oh, I should glue that, shouldn't I? Huh? Yeah, that'd be a good idea, right? Okay, so let's see. That looks like right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, now I haven't used this today, so let's see. Well, obviously not. Um, <laughs> no, I guess not. I was sleeping, or not sleeping, but trying to and couldn't. I have been awake for hours and hours and hours and decided enough, get up. Get up, girly. Get up, girly, and work. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna a little glue along this edge right here and right here yeah I even had my little glass of milk and a handful of cereal before I went to bed usually if I'm hungry which I was because I've been eating soup all day homemade soup uh, for dinner and then I had soup for lunch and not enough food I think and so so I went and had Cereal and milk, that didn't work. And then a few hours later, I just did peanut butter and milk. So I'm hoping, I'm gonna take the sweater off. The heater came on because it's so cold in the house. Okay. There we are, now it's all glued together. Okay, we're good to go. Now on this one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna do, fold it over. Now I don't want this one too wide because it's gotta fit in a journal. So I want it to be, right around four inches I think if I can so I'm just gonna barely hit the edge of this now how big did I make this one? Oh, this one I like this size right here you guys I really like this size I never can get this thing right three and three quarters I think this I made this more like four so I'm gonna pull it in just a little bit Well, yeah, it's better. Okay. And then I want to put a little bit bigger at the bottom. And we're going to fold it down at the top. Now, this one I am going to make sure I don't make it any taller than this because I don't want it to be taller than a journal. Yeah, that's what I thought. Kind of line up your sides carefully. Oh, 
cards, right? Okay. Now we have four to decorate. I know I have a pile of papers here. So what I'll do is I'll set those off to the side. If we have time, I'll make some more. If we don't, no biggie. It just depends on what we're doing, okay? So I do definitely want to get a Christmas one in there or two or three or four. And then this one, of course, would be one of my shabby sheets, I'm thinking. Because we are gonna decorate this, so. We're gonna kinda cut it a little bit of an angle, and then we're gonna cut it just above the fold so that it won't get caught in the fold. Let me see. Yeah, see this one, I needed to cut a little bit more at an angle. And that's just so that when you fold it down, it doesn't impede this here when you fold it up. There, see, nice even fold. Okay. I never get my two sides the same. I don't know what the deal is, but let's go. Okay. And then we don't need these little corners. We take out the four corners the way I do mine. Okay, so we're gonna go, now this one, we're gonna go down a little bit because we want to give ourselves room, but we are gonna cut up on, my head's probably in camera. Gosh, I hope not, I'm a hot mess. I've been in bed, tossing and turning. And I even thought of a fun story to tell you. Now I can't remember what it was. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. It'll come back to me. I'm sure I'm supposed to tell it. All right, and we will, oh dear, that is not enough. Okay. The hard part is getting your scissors in here so that you can cut it. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Kind of got my ankle going the wrong way. Here, I got my nice V there, right where I want it. And I doubt there's any ink left on this. I haven't used it in a bit, but we could try, right? Okay. <clears throat> I mainly want the ink there so you can actually see where you have to go in and out of the envelope. And we need to do something with this top up here. So let me straighten this out a bit. I did get it crooked again. Anybody doing any fun projects? I'm sure many of you are. Those of you who have YouTube channels, I know you are. <laughs> I see you want those of you who are on Instagram. Oh, you make such beautiful things. You always motivate me, I'll tell you. You inspire me to where I can't sleep. I want to do everything I see. <laughs> I want to try everything. I am one of those, I just love to make things and I love to try new things and create things. And I love to see what I can do with an idea. And, you know, what am I going to do with it? Put it on both sides so that um, it will close well. So you won't get anything caught. And then I don't want to close up the bottom, so I want to be careful not to get too close to the fold because otherwise I can end up closing this and then when you go to put stuff in it, nothing fits. <laughs> You're like, why won't that go in there? I don't understand. Oh, probably because you glued it closed. Let me, I want to make sure that this is open. Yep, right to the bottom. Let this one open. Yep, I did not glue it shut. I was worried I glued it shut. Hmm, I need a longer uh, ruler for this one. Ah! Okay. All right. This would work great in a tall journal. Um... You know, if you're doing any of the not long, skinny, tall journals, this would be great in that. I 
I'm barely getting anything on this, but purposely, right? I just want a little color. Because it's avocado dyed, but it's not pink pink, you know? It's sort of a brownie pink. I don't know if you could tell that in this light. Um, and I have my early morning boys. Okay, we have a couple of envelopes to play with, right? Put away a couple of things so the desk does not get so cluttered. All right, we have a few envelopes to play with. We have made them tall and skinny. Now, these would be gorgeous in any kind of paper that you want to make. I should probably do one in a paper, huh, you guys? Just so you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, I have this beautiful paper by Chapter One. And let me see if there's something I think, I think that would make a good one. Although all the print would be on the back. I want something that kind of has print right, ooh, this one might work. Look at, it's got print right through the middle. I think that would work. This is gorgeous, but I think, this is a Christmas one, so this fits our, I haven't done one yet with, um, so now this one is going to be thinner because, well, you know what? I don't need, the only thing I probably need to do is to cut this end right here. Be the only end I have to worry about because we're going to fold it right to that. I don't even have to cut this. Yay. Let's try it. Okay, let's put it towards the middle. I mean, I could measure this for those of you who like everything perfect. Go ahead and measure. Oh, but that's going to show. Okay, so I do have to cut that. Mm, how would I do that? Could fold it, I guess, but I guess I won't. Okay, I did have to cut that off. I lied. Okay, but we're going to go right over that little edge right there. So I'll tell you what, that is going to show. So I am going to get some ink. I moved my ink a little bit closer to me because it was too far away. I am always organizing and finding new ways to store my things and put things away, you know. Okay, let's see if that's going to work better. Because there was that line I didn't quite get where I wanted to go. Now we're going to just go past that little bit of... Let me see how wide that is. Three and three quarters. It fits perfectly right where I want it. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Doesn't have to be dead in the middle in the back. It really doesn't. No one's gonna see it but you and me. I want a Merry Christmas right side up. Oh, I do need to keep this out. I know I keep putting that away. I need it. I'm gonna get some water, you guys. My throat is very raspy. Hmm. Boy, my upper body's warm, but my legs are cold. So I'm gonna move Fozzie Bear here from behind me. And put it over my legs. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. All right, and then we're going to push this one up. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking that wouldn't show, but no, it does show. Okay, so we got rid of that. Alrighty, so if you do have the edge, you can leave some on, but you don't want to leave it all on. This is a little bit thicker paper, so... We definitely want to cut out the stuff we don't want. I won't just be darling in that journal. Let's see, how big did that end up being? A little under eight inches, so perfect for any journal you're doing. The only thing is it might not fit in my Christmas journal because my Christmas journal is really tiny. But that doesn't mean it's not something that I could sell, I could sell it instead of, you know, maybe keeping it. Okay, let's get some scissors. Let's cut those corners out that we don't need. So this is great fun. I'm not sure I cut that enough. There we go. Yep. And... We're actually going to cut that. No, I'm going the wrong way again. Wait. Yeah, I'm always going the wrong way. I want to go this way. So I 
I want that to go low to high. Okay. This just feels so awkward when I'm trying to hold it. I can't seem to find a good, you know, good way to hold it. Okay, I'm keeping the little scraps. I don't know why, but you never know. Okay, so let's put that back on there. Let's see how this fits down here. Yep, that fits beautifully. Whoops, that goes over that. That goes over that. And that goes over that. And that comes down like it should. And But we want to... I thought I was done making these. I'm not. And I'm going to stick the corners into my corner rounder without creasing it too badly. I'm trying not to put a crease in it. But pinching it enough to get it up in there. Okay, it's just easier to do it that way. All righty, look at that. Isn't that adorable? Okay, we just made our first Christmas piece. All right, so one thing I do want to do is just get a little bit of ink onto some of that before I do my... I think I need to re-ink my pad there. It seems a bit dry. Tim Holt says that we should ink it, keep it wet. Don't let it dry out. So I always try it for those of you who are new. If you're using these, buy the reinker. It's a little droppy thing. Looks like an eyedropper. And you just add some color, matching color every now and then to keep it nice and moist. Otherwise, the pads dry out and they start to strip and then everything's a mess. But I also need a new dauber, I noticed. It's time for a new one. I should have started the new year with a new dauber. Although I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Again, you see I do a line here and a line here so that um, it doesn't catch on anything that gets put in there. Okay, you saw me do the bottom. We're just gonna go here to here here to there just a little bit down here we don't need a lot enough to keep it closed and ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. okay there we go so we're good to go i think i'm done no i know i'm not done with that one right i'm probably not done with the scissors either no. But I'm probably done with those. So I can put a few of those things away. All right. So now we have a variety of envelopes to decorate. So let's get busy. All right. So on these little babies, which I think these are my favorite. I do. I really think they are. I want to make them Christmassy, right? So let's do... I want to use some red and some green. I think red on one, green on the other. And I want to also use some um, uh, Christmas music. And so I think what I want to do is... Oh, that did not tear well. Okay, so I don't need that little bit. I do want to ink that. Let me make sure we're filming, um, that I haven't had a shut down. Okay, we're a half hour in, so it took me about a half hour to make those to get myself going. Sorry guys, I'm doing my best. All right. I'm wondering if I wanna put this on first. Well, you know what, I'm thinking I don't. So I also wanna put on a little bit of Christmas music, so let me rip some of that down. That a little bit. I don't want the torn edge to show. So I think I'll put that down first. 
Now this is vintage, so we'll see if the glue shows through. Some of the, I noticed some of the vintage ephemera with this um, glue we've been using here, it shows through the art glitter glue. Now I feel like I need something on my desk to hold on. <laughs> Myself organized. I'm not organized this early in the morning. Okay, let's try this again. So And then let's re-glue this. I see I missed the corner up there. There we go. Oh, and you guys, do you like my new nail polish? Isn't it pretty? I just got it the other day when Jolene and I were out shopping. I picked up a new color. I haven't done a colored polish in years, so kind of fun to play with something new, right? Okay, um, let's see. Now let's do, we want to put an image on here, don't we? So we're going to want a Christmas image, right? I think we would, right? So let me go to my, my little Christmas ephemera book. Oof, those are awful big. I think those are all too big. Let me see, what do I have? Oh, these little guys. I've been using these a lot. I love these. These are from porchswingdesigns.net. Porchswingdesigns.net. They're not on, well, when I bought those, they were not on Etsy, but they could be. I don't really know. I don't know enough. I bought these last year, so I'm not sure. Oh, cute. I feel like, though, this is very white. What do we want to do with that? I wonder if we could just take a little bit. Mm, I'm hesitant to do this, right? Mm, where can I put this on? I'm looking around. I don't really have any. Well, I do. I can use one of these. Let's take a piece of drawing paper. Oh, whoops. Rip that off badly. Let me see. Oh, it'll be fine, I think. Okay, well, let's try it. Now, we could stencil up at the top if we really wanted to. I mean, the white's fine. I do like that. It's a nice, clean look. Where's that little envelope? This just came up. Oh, here we go. Okay. Maybe I need a taller, something taller. Not necessarily larger, but taller. Or something taller. No. What did I have what I was going to put on there? Was this what I was going to put on there? I don't know. I, I guess I didn't pick anything yet. Something that looks good with that green, maybe. Oh, she's cute. What if we put her on there? Um... Let's see. He's not cut out. I don't want to cut anything if I don't have to. Yeah, she's a bit bigger. Not her. Oh, ooh, how about this one? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's... definitely need a new I don't have a dauber really handy or I'd pop one on there okay. <sighs> All right. and I feel like I need she needs to stand on something so I'm going to get out my word definitions and we will play with those. 
These come from a jeweled design. This is all very green, I realize, but I kind of, when I get going in a certain genre, I kind of like to stay there. So let me get this cut out. My stomach's growling. It's not hungry. It shouldn't be. I just fed it peanut butter and milk, but maybe that will get up. <laughs> usually that peanut butter, the protein in the peanut butter usually calms it down and makes me sleepy. Let me move this for a moment. So if we put that down there, I use, this is the word vintage. So if I put that there and we stand her on top of that, And then, let's see, what else do we want to do? I got an idea. Sugar. Alrighty. Darn it. <laughs> ah. Art glitter glue is so unforgiving. You know, I'm wondering if, because this is for Christmas, excuse my face, makeup list here. If it is for Christmas, maybe we could add a little bling. What do we think? Maybe we could add a little bling behind her. Oh, well, maybe not bling. How about snow? We could put some snow behind her. I'll get out two different, well, we can decide which one we want. Okay, want some snow. Snow or bling, I'm not sure, but I'll put that on the floor beside me. Close that, it's cold. I'm gonna get some more water. My mouth is really dry because the heater's on. There's our snow, super cute, or we can do bling. Let's see, let's see. Oh, she's cute with both. We could, maybe we could do both. I wonder if it would work. Get these sleeves up there, bugging me. I'm not used to a heavy sleeve. <laughs> this is a heavy sweatshirt with another long sleeve shirt under it. Well, what if we did? I can never tell which side's up on this darn stuff. What if we put the snow on and then we put the glitter over the snow and then we put her on? Oh, super cute, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. But I'm afraid we're going to need the nasty stuff. Okay, here we go. The stuff that takes off my nail polish. Ah! I didn't cut this wide enough. So it's gonna kind of be snow on one side and bling on another. Okay. Now I don't think I want it over the vintage part. So I think I'm gonna wanna cut that off down there. And then there's a right and a wrong side to this stuff. I think that's the sparkly side right there. Okay, so we can put that on there. Now we're gonna put glue, glue on there again. Ugh. Then we'll trim around, right? So, let's get this here. I think I'm doing pretty good considering it's 4.30 in the morning or going on 5 a.m. Well, it's after five now. Whew. I'm not an early morning riser. 
I'm only an early morning riser if I didn't go to bed, which is pretty much what happened. I think I just couldn't un unwind. I was so wound. I worked so hard the last few days. Oh, Jolene and I, big news. We are working on our French, pink French shabby physical kits that we're creating. It will have digitals, but it's going to have lace and bling and all kinds of fun, exciting things to play with. There'll be full physical kits that will come to you in the mail and there will be a digital to go with it. And there will be projects, video projects we will have. We'll be doing videos together again. Jolene and I will be doing a video together for you guys. So we are working frantically on all of the pieces for the kits. Um, they're gonna be very, very limited edition. There's only gonna be six of them because they're gonna be loaded. And um, it's a one-time thing. And Well, at least we think, we'll have to see. Um, but this particular kit will only come out one time ever and ever um so we're working on that and we've been working really hard on it and that's probably why i'm so overtired is because we have just been going non-stop putting things together and creating things and the, the kit the digital kit as well as all the goodies that are going with it so you will get all kinds of fun things to play with for the projects the project we're going to be doing as well as um Things you can use all the time in your kits. Um, things that you might not have in your own personal stash, you will then have via, you know, the kit that you purchase from us. But I, at right now, we're looking at selling them on Instagram, not on Etsy. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you're going to want to do that because that's where the notification is going to go uh, when they come up, and it's going to be first come, first serve. So. And there's only going to be six. And Jolene and I will each have a kit. And we'll be making the project on videos. Once we're sure everybody has their kit, they all notify, yeah, we got our kits. Then we'll put out the video. Uh, but the rest of you will, at that time, Jolene will release the digital once everyone has theirs um, uh, on her Etsy shop. So you'll be able to get the digital, but you won't have all the goodies. You'll have to kind of raid your own stash. Oh, isn't that adorable? Oh, it's so cute. I wanted to say like Merry Christmas or something like that up there. I think that's going to require um, my Tim Holtz people. I didn't think about that when I was prepping. I thought I got everything I could possibly need out, but I didn't. Because I don't have my Christmas out all day, every day. They're, they're not out all the time. So I have to go get them out. Here we go. All right, I wanna see if we can put maybe something at the top to go with this. Let's get some of this it's getting crazy over here. Bits of everything. Okay. Um, We could have maybe like season's greetings up here. Oh, I know. I was going to put stamps up there, and I believe there are Christmas stamps in here. And one of these has the Christmas stamps. That would be super cute. Let's see if I have them. If not, I'll probably have to go grab my stamp book. Probably only going to get one or two decorated, honestly. I don't think. Here we go. There's Christmas greetings. You can use that. And let's see. I really don't. Oops. Gosh, I'm a klutz today. Yikes. Okay. There we go. Stop. Avalanche. Okay. I want to put that up there. I want to stamp, but you know what? I'm wondering if it won't stamp or cancel stamp because it's got all that other glitz and glam there. I wonder if it won't work. Hmm. Do we know? Hmm. Well, I guess we can try. Let's put the stamp on first. And let's get enough glue. We need a lot of glue. A lot. Okay, so we got that on there. 
Now you can decorate both sides if you like. You could put, you know, just a straight paper back there. You could decorate the envelope. Uh, it depends what you're going to do with it, you know. Um, obviously, if you want to use it as a pocket and you're going to glue it down, then you would want to decorate this side. If you just want it to be something that can go over a page of your journal like this, you want it to go over the the journal page, you would just, you know, hang it over and use a little paper clip. You can do that. So it's up to you as to how much you want to decorate these. Now, I prefer to decorate this side right now, but it depends on what I'm going to do with it. So it might be that this one, if I want to use it as a pocket, I would decorate this side and not decorate that side. So it's really up to you what you want to do with it. So that's personal preference, pretty much, you know, hold on a minute. I got to get my arms are not long enough. Goodness, that's what happens when you're a shorty. You can't reach anything. My desk is pretty deep, so it's kind of hard to get to the, the stuff. And get my little stamp, and I need my little block. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try, right? <laughs> Um, I have that other piece of paper, don't I? I want to check to see what it's going to do. Okay, I don't have enough ink on there, so that is going to make a huge difference. Okay, let's see if we can get a cancellation on there. Well, not really, but, I mean, it works great over here, <laughs> but... On the netting, not so much, but we could still try to do the um, the other the other thing here. Where's my? I know it opens here somewhere. Come on now, there it is. Okay. Come on, brain. You're awake. Let's use it. Use it or lose it. Well, actually, I prefer to do this one this way. No, it doesn't want to cancel out. I mean, it kind of does. You could sort of see it. I think you could see it a little bit. So, um, but yeah, it's on there. I mean, it's fine. Normally, it wouldn't have all that netting under there, so that wouldn't be an issue. I think I'll leave that out because I don't know if we're done. We'll see. All right, let me move these guys out of the way. They're kind of not necessary at the moment. Okay, um, so that's one, one down. And I guess, you know, you could cover it with just like one of your papers. You could take some paper and cover it on the back and, um, you know, cover this and decorate it all or put a word or something back there. So it's totally up to you what you want to do. But we're um, for right now, I think that one's done. So, we, oh, we have another cutie patootie here. Now this one, why don't we do this side then? Um, I've never liked that people did this side, you know, and they didn't do the front of the envelope. Because to me, that's the Christmas envelope. So wouldn't you do that? I mean, I'm going to decorate that side. I'm going to see, what do I have here? I don't know. I don't think that's what I want. Um, I'm going to see what's in that kit that um, Chapter One Papers has. See if there's anything I want to decorate that with. Ooh, there we go. That's cute. I see a page right there. That's darling. Could maybe put that on the front. Okay, let's cut that out. do we have anything else that we think is cute oh there's a birdie that'd be cute let's see what else oh gosh I probably didn't need that big one I could have probably used one of these something here 
there's Christmas greetings too. That could also go on the front, couldn't it? Let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest darn paper. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's a reprint. I, I usually print it at least twice. Well, maybe not. Yeah, no, it is. Okay. I always make a couple copies of everything because I never know what I'm going to want. That's really cute. But I, now I saw that other piece. What was that other one I saw? I really liked her a minute ago. Come on. Oh, this right here. side down a little bit. Oh, isn't that adorable? Not difficult. You know, you don't have to have everything it doesn't have to be complicated or fancy or, you know. What if we do that? Isn't that cute? Love it. Okay. All right. See how simple this is? Super, super easy. Super duper easy. I am going to actually round the corners here. getting ephemera made for our Christmas journals next year. One or more. Lots of goodies. Either that or I'm just going to have a lot of stuff to put in my shop. Either way, I'll be ready for Christmas for a change instead of being behind the eight ball all the time. Oh man, that's crooked. I get that any more crooked? I doubt it. My glue doesn't seem to be sticking all that well. Anybody else having problems with their glue? I've noticed this lately. Oh, a lot of my stuff, it's just not, it's just not sticking to anything. I mean, I put on enough. I know I'm using enough glue. I wonder if this glue gets old if you just keep it too long. You know, you, you stockpile it. Maybe I should shake it up or something. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see, but it says Merry Christmas right there. So I was trying not to. Um, I actually have an idea. I'm going to make this a little tiny pocket. Let me see. Come on. I don't know what it is about these sleeves, but I always feel like I catch everything on them. Do you guys have shirts that just knock everything over and make a mess out of everything? I don't see sleeves. I every No matter what I was doing lately, it, probably because they're thick and they're heavy. I don't usually wear this heavy a sweater. I wear a lot of layers, but not... Okay, so let's... Also, I think I use the Fabri-Tac so much. Uh, and it's instant, instant grab. I mean, it's so darn sticky. It grabs everything. And so this hasn't been as quick. It's quick. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's as fast as my Fabri-Tac. I don't think I've gotten hooked on Fabri-Tac. Oh, no. Okay, so I made this a pocket of on a pocket. You know me, I've always got to add that extra pocket. Why not? When you can, why not? Then you can put a tag in there and you can put one inside. Okay, so that could be another, maybe next week we'll do, um, 
we'll do tags for inside. We'll, we'll make tags to go inside of our pockets or some kind of a unique tag. I don't know, come up with something. I don't know yet, but be fun to do that. So we have those two. How much time do I have? Oh, I only, I think I'm out of time, guys. Let me see. Oh, I was hoping to do more than two, but you know, that's just the way it goes. Sometimes 55, I have less than five minutes. I have about four minutes. So I guess maybe I'll just clean up and wind it up. And thank you all for coming on out to Merry Monday. But we <clears throat> did get a few things made. We did make a couple envelopes. We made three envelopes. And then we had, you know, we were going to decorate them all. But I'll probably course decorate them off camera or put them in my stash to be decorated I was hoping to make this one shabby chic and I was planning to use one of my ladies to go with one of my journals that I have that I'm working on um, I was thinking about doing her or her on one of them and um, and these are my porch swing designs by the way so um, that's kind of what I was thinking for that one and then maybe some I was thinking botanical or something for these guys. So, you know, that's all right. You know, we will, we got the project so you can get going and you can do your thing. And then, um, you know, of course, I'd love to see whatever you're making. Oh, and remember, it's hashtag Merry Monday 2023 because that's where I'm sending mine. Now, if you go hashtag Merry Monday, it'll also be where Donna and Leslie is. You can put it either way. Um, I do both. So, you know, you can see what everybody's doing and what everybody's making who are doing Merry Monday. It seems like quite a few of us are doing that. So I hope to see you over there doing that and um, hanging out with us and doing Christmas stuff. So thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. I love you guys. Bye-bye.